Welcome back to tutorial 3.0 for creating a new VSS. We're going to start here with 3.1, a sample VSS. And to do so, we've got our, uh, our diagram that we created and had open uh, in Visio earlier. If you remember, auto inventory. So you see we've got the diagram in the middle. As I said before, the shapes window on the left, shapes data window on the right. We want to be able to see what shapes we can use in a diagram. Well, to do so, you must open a stencil set. And that's done by File, Shapes. You see here there's all these pre-canned stencil sets. In other words, they contain master shapes that we can use in our diagrams. So we go to Network. And I'm going to drop all the way down. Sort of got lost there. Here we go. Drop all the way down to Servers. I selected that. You can see here all these different master shapes that were defined in this server's stencil set. You see the title of the stencil set here. So let's just drag a server uh, shape over. So now we have an instance of that master shape on the diagram. What I want you to see here is when I select and deselect how the shape data window changes. This allows users to enter data for each one of these attributes that have been defined for this server master shape. Now, in our approach here for data linking, we will not be using any of these pre-canned uh, stencil sets. We will create our own stencil set, but I wanted you to see how it looks. Uh, so for now, if you'll follow along with me, just delete that server we created, and we're going to close that stencil set by just pointing at the title bar here where it says servers for shapes and right mouse clicking and selecting close. We're now back to where we started with nothing showing in the shapes menu. The next tutorial we will begin creating our own Visio stencil set.